off. Keep working it. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. Woo. Well, we've finally made it to Kassab. It's been a bit of a mission getting here. It's uh, 24 hours of travelling. We left Auckland, it was a 16 and a half hour flight, landed in Dubai, and uh, then it was about a, about a three and a half, four hour trip overland to get to Kassab. It's a pretty uh, awesome trip. In the car, there was uh, there were these big mountain ranges all around. So it seems like a really, really old country. I mean, the, the rock formations, and you know, you, you're going past some little castles, some old sort of ruined buildings. It's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. Sort of sets the scene for our uh, adventure. We're going to be starting off in the Muthadam Peninsula. I just want to run through some of the gear we've got. We're going to be using the Oshia pluggers, the full throttle range of um, top water rods from Shimano. Um, they've proved to be really good on the Kingfish back in New Zealand and uh, we're really looking forward to putting the heavier models to the test on these big GTs. So we're using the Stella 14,000 reels. We used to use the 18s but the 14s have been uh, working good here. They're, they're slightly a little bit lighter and we're running 80 pound, 100 pound braid on them. Uh, we've got 200 pound and 170 pound leader and we're only running a, a very short leader system. We, use, we like to use a little Benimi twist knot with the Yucatan knot and our leaders are about 1.1, 1.2 metres long. Uh, the reason we keep our leaders uh, really short is we want casting distance and we always say it, the guy that can cast the furthest is going to get the most bites. We've got a big selection of stick baits and poppers here guys. Uh, Fisherman 160 gram. Big Zeech, 160 gram also. We've got that in two colours that we're using here. The pink and the black, always my favourites. Last year this was a good performer, the Siren 225 Deep Destructors. Got that big kingfish on it. Got some smaller lures this year. We're going to use hopefully on these long tail tuners. They get big schools of them here. They're quite big fish but they, they like to um, feed on the small lures. So we've got the Rock Slide. That was a good one last year, the pink. Little herring colour. So we've got a good range here from sinking, floating, stick baits and the big profile poppers. Really important thing here with these, you know, these larger strong fish like GTs, they've got such strong mouths you need good hooks. So we're running um, some extra heavy duty trebles, we're using barbless. Anything that does have barbs, we just crush them off with the pliers. Uh, we want to we get rid of those, obviously, you know, we're a long way away from home. We don't want any uh, any damage or any injuries. Really important, your barbless hooks, we're releasing all these GTs, so we want to release them in the best possible condition. So the one thing about these GTs is a lot of guys, you know, you get the bite, you think you're hooked up, but most of the time that GT's actually got the, um, the lure in its mouth, and um, it's really important to strike like hell um, to, to actually slide the lure through and set the hook. So, you know, and that's another reason we need these big strong hooks. I'm just going to show you some of the accessories that we use um, for this style of fishing. Really important to have a good pair of sunglasses, polarised, um, so you can see the fish, you see the bite and you can see what's going on under the water. Um, really good pair of um, split ring pliers and braid cutters. We use the um, Shimano ice shirt pliers, they've always lasted really well, hold their edge. Good pair of casting gloves, you're casting big heavy lures all day long, you want to make sure your fingers are protected. You don't want any damage when you're a long way away from home. And last but not least, a really good fighting belt. Super lightweight and comfy to wear because you're going to have this on all day long ready for that big bite. So hopefully with tomorrow you're going to see all this in action, all this preparation and uh, see it all come together on these GTs. For all the rods, reels, lures and terminal tackle and some great advice, call in and meet your team at your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store. And for more inspiring online fishing content, visit journeyofafisherman.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.